Before you watch this video, make sure you press the like button, subscribe to my channel and to share with your friends. Let's go! Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to another graphic arc video. I know it's been long since you've heard from me. Well, actually in a video, but uh, yeah, I finally got some time to check out the new driver today, which I will cover and uh, it's amazing uh, how Assassin's Creed Mirage performance improved by 300 plus percent. You, I will show you what, uh, why and you will see what they mean by 300%. It's probably even more than 300% because the previous experience was like, uh, you will see what I mean. But yeah, I mean, lots of work going on. See, I have one Lenovo or this uh, ThinkPad uh, to open. Then I have one more HP here to fix. Motherboard is not turning on. I'm not sure what's going on. You know, it took me two days to actually figure this out. This clean the processor, set up RAM, and test everything. You know, 3080 here. Clean it up a bit since uh, no, I didn't go into full detail because he has opened this bench. So it will get dirty in about one month. So yeah, that's, I mean, what? Anyways, let's go check out what's new with the driver update that just came out today and see if it actually improves in Assassin's Creed Mirage. I mean, Unity or not. Sorry, it's Unity, not Mirage. No, I have so much things going on. Uh, I'll try to cover as best as I can. Anyways, let's go. So here we are on Intel official page. Uh, make sure you always download for us. If you want to check for the newest driver updates, then uh, just use this link for beta drivers and the other link, which you probably already have is for the stable drivers. Anyways, this driver, apparently, here we go, guys, look at this. It uh, optimizes layers of fear. Actually, I was testing the gameplay before and it worked about the same as demo, with the, which we got way back in the days. I mean, not way back in the days, it was not that long ago, but uh, maybe we should taste this one as well. I also got actually Formula 123 upcoming soon and Intel versus AMD video, it's also in the works, but that one will take me some time. But anyways, the most important thing is here, guys, what is this? Look at this, guys. Assassin's Creed Unity, it's DirectX 11 title, lots of uh, questions regarding DirectX 11 title I get on this court. And uh, they are asking me how is the performance in such titles and as you can see guys Intel is doing some improvements over here. We will be testing this in a bit. But uh, yeah, the uh, other updates are Formula 1 2022 edition. It got a bit of an uplift, I mean at uh, 1080p it's about 36% uh, which is uh, nice. I guess I'm not sure how it works because I haven't played it. But uh, yeah, that loop is also on the list. This game ran before okay, but you know, all the uplifts we can get, it's good to be here. Yeah, give us more updates Intel, but I mean, I mean, man, how long has it been? Five days, six days, and we already get a new driver? Well, let's go. Let's test this out in Assassin's Creed Unity and see how it goes. So here we are in Assassin's Creed Unity. I currently set the uh, resolution to 1440p and uh, high preset since it noted in the change log that the performance boost was up to 300 plus percent on 1440p high quality preset. But here we are with any previous driver. This is one previous driver than the current one that uh, got released. And as we can see here, guys, in Assassin's Creed Mirage, not Mirage, oh my god, what's with me? Unity, we are getting about an average 15 FPS in some cuts since we get even less. Do you know that I'm recording via my Intel Arc graphic card? This is with AV1. And uh, yeah, I think there is some performance drop, but I'm not totally sure. Who knows? Uh, anyways, uh, the performance is not really that good. As you can see here, 10 FPS average. I mean, it was not playable because it was there was a really big, big, big delay when you pressed something and when you moved the mouse, man. Uh, here I was just spamming my attack button and forward sprint. As you can see, I ran there into a wall. And <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is here we drop even below 10 fps look 9 oh it's a slight show after all here look at this guys i wanted to go up the ladder but uh, no we go into the wall <laughs> anyways uh, let's climb here and go to an upper area maybe we get more fps at the top of the tower because not much things going on, but uh, 10 FPS is the average experience right now as we can see even less the average is 8 
So let's go here, climb up the tower, look, we boosted an FPS up a bit, but oh, look at that milliseconds frame time graph, it's really, really slow. <laughs> oh my god, let's try to climb up this tower and see how it goes. Maybe, and if we maybe get better FPS, look, we are climbing above 15 now, 13, and 13 FPS, come on, let's go, you can bump it up to 20, let's go, 20 for a sec, but once it starts to render the roof, Oh, FPS drops. So, uh, hmm. do you think the new driver really improved the performance by up to 300%? Hmm? What do you think, guys? Will we get, uh, what, 300% from this year's, what, 40 FPS? Hmm? 40, 50 FPS on 1440p Ultra? Let's check it out. Huh? The same scene we will do here and see how much the performance boosts. Look at this, guys the smoothness we have oh my god 80 fps at the top scene the frame time graph is smooth the milliseconds are perfect and uh yeah well, the intro scene here we go guys look at this from 15 fps we boosted to about 70 fps so uh, Good job Intel, thank you for improving our DirectX 11 performance, uh, do focus on some other games as well, there are still some games that have issues that use DirectX 11, No, we have Vulkan, uh, this DXVK which fixes performance, but uh, I actually haven't tested it out here before the driver update, I wonder if we get kind of the same performance. Have you tried full uh, DXVK in this Assassin's Creed uh, Unity? Let me know down in the comments below and uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. I will try to make more videos, I promise guys, but I'm bombarded with work lately, so I'll do my best. Anyways, make sure that you like, subscribe and so you don't miss another video when I upload it and uh, you know how it goes. Have a good day and see you in the next one.